Recently, we sailed to the boatyard to get hauled out here in Carousel. It's been two years since we had Sersha out of the water, so we got to work right away looking into things that needed to be fixed. But once we started digging, we actually found something we weren't expecting. <gasps> oh no. Water in our keel. Fast forward through a bunch of drilling, grinding, and sanding, and now we need to get to work on closing up these big holes in our hull. This is turning out to be one of the biggest projects we've ever done on this boat. And I screwed up. Hey, Red. Good morning. Hi, bud. Is your tail wagging, bud? Come here, Red. Is your tail wagging? Oh, that's the first time I've seen it wag. Hey, Sparky. Mm -hmm. It's okay, buddy. While the hair dryer dries out a little bit more of the this cavity area. I'm going to do a little bit of fiberglassing. I'm going to fiberglass over the two through holes. The secondary one that I'm going to put the new intake, uh, the, the hole's too large. So I'm going to glass it over and then drill a smaller hole. Doing all this glassing anyway, so what's, what's a little bit more, right? But I also want to fill in the holes that I drilled to initially to let the water out. So I'll fill those with resin. Got the glass all cut. Now to mix up the epoxy and get this all laid out. Let me show you guys what Brainy and I just did. Blast it over. Once it's cured, I'll be punching a hole in the middle anyways. But, uh, it was good to do this hole first. Good practice, good uh, memory jogging on uh, what it's like to fiberglass again. It's been a while. There's some things that <laughs> didn't go so well. So I'll have to keep those in mind for the other 10 holes we gotta do. Today our friend Niels is coming over to help Bo with the fiberglass work, which is awesome because it gives me some time to finish up this video because Bo was gonna try to do it by himself. And from what we learned yesterday, he can't. <laughs> Not to upside down, that is. The hull of the shape of the hull and how much there is, it just is too much. Yeah, that was a, a big lesson learned. <laughs> I'd never tried to glass at an angle like upside down before, so that was interesting. Thank you, Lovey. Because yes. without you, it would have been possible. <laughs> well, I got down there and it was like all falling apart. We didn't get it on film, but I had to like basically scrap the first <laughs> piece of um, fiberglass. It's a busy day here in the boatyard. It's Monday. Good day for glassing. I'm gonna, <laughs> I created this little tarp for later in the day because the sun sets over here and I'm working on the starboard side where the sun is gonna set, so just the anticipation. But I need to thicken up some epoxy because I need to, I'm gonna ferret, try to get these spots 
it's just gonna be too much to um, to glass. I mean, I could, but then lay glass over it. I think our help arrived for the day. Oh, hey, hey. what's up, guys? <laughs> All right, everybody, this is Niels from Black Moon. Yes. <laughs> He'll be helping me out today. He's my brand new replacement with maybe a few more skills. Hey! <laughs> what? He's done this stuff before. Have I not? You're, you're, you're a, a sidebar. Sidebar. Hi. <laughs> So Niels and I cut up our glass. Now we're gonna thicken up some epoxy and fill in some of these gaping gaps. <laughs> oh, you're filling in the... Just the... Just the, the divots. The divots, yeah. yeah. start glassing over we're doing about six layers yeah we are doing six layers our first two layers are gonna be chop strand and then we're gonna alternate between biaxle and chop strand so two layers chop strand biaxle chop strand biaxle chop strand and it should be solid a lot of sanding in my future lovey it's good it's all meals I just supervise. Oh uh, yeah, super guys, yeah, super guys. Good job. It's all this guy. Just finished up for the day. Neil's already took off, but this is the final product. I think we did pretty good. Now we just gotta do the other side and the other through hole. It's not. The smoothest and it's a little lumpy, but I gotta sand it down and I'm gonna take some um, any any little bit of contour that's still left. I'm gonna take some high build and smooth it out just to get a nicer shape. Solid though. <laughs> Jeez. How many sheets are on there? Uh, I think. I think we started with six per hole, but then we ended up putting a lot more to try to fill the uh, the actual hole area because it kind of concaved or it caved in a little bit. So we're trying to build it up. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of sanding, which is not gonna be fun because it's hard epoxy. Second day of glassing. Niels is back for more fun. Round two. Round two. Uh, we're just gonna do this one section. I still have to grind out where all the D lamb is. And then uh, won't be too much more. Maybe one more day of glassing and then sanding. Lots of sanding. Let me give you guys an update real quick. Niels and I fiberglass this area the other day and I screwed up. I should have put a backing piece of fiberglass, let it harden. That way we had something to push up against because it's, you can't put a backing on this because it, you can't get to the back end of it. But we, we didn't and we created cavities and you can see the cavities like intense. This one's really bad. So with that, I was like, oh, okay. Well, on the other side, we just took a little bit of uh, loose fibers and epox and then took some epoxy resin and kind of mixed it together, made like a patty, kind of stuffed it in there. It worked well on the other side because they were small this one, they're so large that they got super hot and kicked really fast. We actually had to pull the middle one out because it was cooking so much where I was afraid that it was gonna like burn through. 
but it did screw up the glass as well. So uh, I had to grind this area all out the other yesterday. And now I'm going back through, going to sand everything down. And then I'm going to re-glass. That way we have a nice strong structure. Find out new ways to apply this? Yeah. From experts? From experts. Wow, that looks so much easier. Yeah, sure. That looks way easier. Meet Gideon. He's the owner operator of Saluni Tech Boat Repair here in Curacao. Done. Yeah, and nice. it's clean looking. Yeah, it's yeah. all like nice and neat. Professional. He Jeez. graciously yeah, came nice. over to show me a <laughs> different method than using a paintbrush. Instead, he uses a roller. It makes the process so much easier and faster. It's gonna try. I'll give it a go. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will tell you. He's the foreman. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it in his eyes. He wants to take it from you. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> well, he's a professional, of I course. <laughs> he's got eight years on me. Our morning routine has consisted of making coffee and Brandy going out and feeding the puppies. Morning treats. Oh, it's fresh. Oh, it's <laughs> camera shy. Scratchy. It doesn't catch very well. Oh, you got it. Definitely doesn't catch at all. <laughs> doesn't even try. 